What's up, boys and girls? Now, if you're a natural bodybuilder, like myself, and plenty of other guys out there, I mean, to be honest, even if you're enhanced, but for the natties, if you're a natty, the number one most important supplement out there, which will help you in your performance and your pumps in the gym, most of my pumps here, but performance also and body composition, is L-citrulline. Now, I'm sure you've seen Derek talk about L-citrulline all the time and pre-workouts and how you should be looking out for it and how you shouldn't fall for the malic acid blend. And that is all very well and true, but you can literally do away with these expensive pre-workouts and just chill with 10 grams of L-citrulline, five grams of creatine, and like 250 milligrams of caffeine. Now, I'd probably have a caffeine in an energy drink or a coffee rather than trying to weigh out, uh, wait, yeah, my milligrams of uh, caffeine because like saw in the article, like you can end up in a copper if you don't <laughs> weigh it out properly. So. Be careful with the caffeine. But those three ingredients, citrulline, creatine, and caffeine, is way, way, it's just all you need. You'll get massive gains. You'll get brilliant pumps out of it. You help you push, get your endurance, uh, and it's good for you. Like having citrulline literally is good for you. It has health benefits alongside uh, physical performance aspects. It can help strengthen your arterial walls, make it more elastic. So if you've got high blood pressure, it can help deal with that. If you've got erectile dysfunction or just struggle with them in general, uh, L-citrulline is good that. It's a vasodilator. It will literally dilate your, your veins and your arteries. So blood flow is easier to flow, obviously. And you've seen in the news with you know Boston Lloyd, with all these other big bodybuilders, um, that chap who had the heart attack for 70 minutes, all these things, you know, caused by high blood pressure. When you don't have to be enhanced to have high blood pressure. The modern lifestyle encourages high blood pressure with having, um, you know, mineral dense foods, aka salt and potassium and all that kind of stuff, you know, can help detriment, you know, it's detrimental to your health. So if you've got high blood pressure or even just on borderline, 10 grams of citrine a day is going to is going to sort your bud. It's almost like a pseudo pharmaceutical at that point, you know, when you're taking it that kind of dose. And I personally haven't noticed any side effects. If you've got low blood pressure, that can have an effect. It can make you feel dizzy, like like headed. So probably check your blood pressure first before slamming it. But if you're taking it with a vasoconstrictor, like caffeine or another kind of stimulant, it will, you know, kind of immediate the effects. Small caveat, if you're taking anything like Viagra, Cialis, Tadafil, all well, those last are the same, if you're taking those things, probably don't slam citrulline. You're going to have, you're probably going to pass out from low blood pressure. Um, but yeah, that's citrulline. I can go into more detail if you like. If you want to know more, comment below. Anything else, comment below. Smash me a like and yeah, peace guys.